Is Windows Vista a safe and comfortable system in December 2019? Back in November 2006, 13 years ago, Microsoft announced a new operating system Windows Vista. The system did not live long. According to Wikipedia the latest version is 6.0.6002.18005 Service Pack 2 dated May 25, 2009. Many users of this system were sad that there would be no more support, and abandoned this system. But to no avail. In fact, security updates on this system go to this day. The fact is that the same kernel is based on the Windows Server 2008 system, on which Microsoft continues to consistently release updates. And all updates for the server system are perfectly installed on Vista. Of course, you will not be able to update through the Update Center, you will have to install all updates manually. Microsoft has inadvertently or intentionally made it difficult not only to update from Update Center, but even to run the Update Center itself. Immediately after installing the original image of Windows Vista SP2, you will not work Update Center. You need to manually download and install 9 updates and Internet Explorer 9. You need to install the following updates, KB3078601, KB3087039, KB3109094, KB3145739. KB3161664, KB3205638, KB4012583, KB4015195, KB101538. After that, you can install Office 2010 and select Install Updates automatically. Therefore, it will configure Update Center to search for updates for all Microsoft products. Next, you need to enable the Update Center and install all updates offered there for Vista and all Microsoft products. And it is not necessary to install automatic updates in the parameters, the system can hang, and then for a long time refuse not installed updates. It is best to choose only to search for updates, and install them by selecting parts. The maximum version of Office that will run on this system is Microsoft Office 2010. Its functionality is more than enough for any task. Of course, there are free Office software packages, but none of them have the full functionality of Ms. Office. For example, if there are macros in Excel files, they may not work in third-party offices. Also, documents created in Ms. Office may not be displayed correctly in other programs. To date, all the latest updates are delivered directly from the Update Center. In total, the Update Center will offer more than 270 updates for Windows Vista and Office 2010 for the original image. After that, you need to find in the Update Catalog updates in the period from 2014 to 2018, starting from KB3170455 to KB4344104, there will be about 120 pieces, and install manually. You can use the command file. You can download all updates, then install them with this command. Start slash wait percent tilde DP0 Windows 6.0 KB3170455 X64. MSU slash quiet slash nor start wo Windows 6. 0 KB3170455 X64. MSU file with update. You need to be prepared for the fact that even with the use of a batch file, installing updates can take a day. During the process of installing the latest updates, a situation may occur that Vista will not be able to boot, giving a digital signature verification error. In this case, you need to boot from the original image and select Boot Recovery. You can follow the monthly updates on the page https colon slash slash support dot microsoft dot com slash shuru slash help slash four five three zero seven one nine. There on the left you can see all the updates that came out. You will have to download updates manually. Go to the update directory, https colon slash slash www.catalog.update.microsoft.com slash search dot asks. Q equals KB4525239 It only shows monthly service packs starting September 11, 2018. Enter there the name of the update and download.
The latest version of the Windows Vista system kernel 2 date has the number 6.0.6003.20686. This is reported by, for example, AIDA64. Internet Explorer 9 also receives regular updates. Just get updates on it will not work, in the update center will not be. You need to go to the update directory. HTTPS colon slash slash www.catalog.update.microsoft.com slash search dot asks. Q equals Internet percent 20 Explorer percent 209 percent 20 Windows percent 20 Server percent 202008 percent 20 by 64. And search for the phrase Internet Explorer 9 Windows Server 2008 x64. This will result in a list of updates for IE9. So, what versions of programs will work on Vista? 7-Zip is a free file archiver with high data compression ratio. All versions are supported, up to the latest 19.02. Actsy is a commercial, formerly shareware, program for viewing and managing a collection of images. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 7.1.163. Adobe Acrobat is a software package produced since 1993 by Adobe Systems and designed to create and view electronic publications in PDF format. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 11.0.23. Adobe Integrated Runtime, Air, is a cross-platform application runtime from Adobe that allows you to use HTML, CSS, Ajax, Adobe Flash, and Apache Flex to migrate web applications, including rich internet application, to PCs and mobile devices. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 29.0.0.112. Adobe Flash, formerly Macromedia Flash, or simply Flash is a multimedia platform by Adobe Systems for creating web applications or multimedia presentations. All versions are supported, up to the latest 32.0.0.303. Adobe Shockwave, prior to the acquisition of Macromedia by Adobe, it was known as Macromedia Shockwave, is a multimedia platform consisting of an integrated Shockwave player and Adobe Director's Shockwave content creation tool. All versions are supported, up to the latest 12.3.5.205. HXD Hex Editor Hex Editor, a Hex Editor, a hexadecimal editor is a data editing application in which data is presented in raw form, as a sequence of bytes. All versions are supported, up to the latest 2.3. Windows Internet Explorer 9, abbreviated E9, is a version of Microsoft's Internet Explorer released on March 14, 2011. All versions are supported, up to the latest 9.0.185. Java Runtime Environment, Sucre. JRE, Russian. Runtime for Java, is the minimum virtual machine implementation required to run Java applications, without a compiler or other development tools. All versions are supported, up to the latest 13.0.1. K-Lite Codec Pack is a universal set of codecs, encoders, decoders, and utilities for viewing and processing audio and video files. All versions are supported, up to the latest 15.3.0. The Net Framework is a software platform released by Microsoft in 2002. The platform is based on the Common Language Runtime, CLR, which is suitable for different programming languages. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 4.6.1. Microsoft Office 2010, codename Office 14, is the name of the version of Microsoft Office for Microsoft Windows. Microsoft began work on Office 2010 in 2006, when it was finishing work on Office 12, which came out under the name Microsoft Office 2007. This is the latest version of Microsoft Office that uses a skewomorphic interface design, all subsequent ones already use a flat metro style design. All versions are supported, up to the latest 14.0.7237.5000. Microsoft Silverlight is a software platform for writing and running RIA feature-rich internet applications, 
similar to Adobe Flash, including a browser module that allows you to run applications that contain animation, vector graphics, and audio video clips. All versions are supported, up to the latest 5.1.50906. Maxthon, formerly MyA2, pronounced Maxton, abbreviated as MX, officially called Maxthon Cloud Browser, originally known as MyA2, is a free web browser for Microsoft Windows, OS X systems, created by the Chinese company Maxthon International Limited. All versions are supported up to the latest 5.3.8.1600. Mozilla Firefox is a free browser based on the Gecko engine, developed and distributed by Mozilla Corporation. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 52.9.0 ESR. Open Broadcaster Software OBS, is a free and open source video recording and streaming software developed by the OBS project and the community of independent developers. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 21.0.1. VirtualBox, Oracle VM VirtualBox, is a virtualization software product for Microsoft Windows, Linux, FreeBSD, MacOS, Solaris, OpenSolaris. React OS, DOS and other operating systems. All versions up to the latest 6.1.0 are supported. Paint.net free, except for the Microsoft Store version, Raster Graphics Editor for Windows NT, based on the Net Framework. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is March 5, 2011. Punto Switcher is a program to automatically switch between different keyboard layouts in Microsoft Windows and Mac OS operating systems. All versions are supported, up to the latest 4.4.4.489. MicroTorrent, also uTorrent and MicroTorrent, pronounced uTorrent, MuTorrent, MeTorrent or MicroTorrent, BitTorrent client for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, web interface, and Android. Written in C++ and characterized by a small size and high speed with a sufficiently large functionality. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 3.5.5 build 45311. Vegas, until May 2016, Sony Vegas, is a family of professional programs for multi-track recording, editing and editing of video and audio streams from Magix and Sony. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 12.0.770. VLC Media Player, VLC, is a free cross-platform media player being developed by the Videoland project. The program works on most modern operating systems and mobile platforms. All versions are supported, up to the latest 3.0.8. When DJ View is a free and open source program for viewing files in the DJ VU and DJ VU format. All versions are supported, up to the latest 2.1. WinRAR is a file archiver for 32 and 64 bit Windows operating systems that allows you to create, modify, and unpack RAR and ZIP archives, as well as to unpack archives of many other formats. All versions are supported, up to the latest 5.80. IETA 64 Utility Final Wire Limited to test and identify components of a personal computer running Windows operating systems, providing detailed information about hardware and software. All versions are supported, up to the latest 6.20.5300. ArtMoney A closed source computer program designed to modify the parameters of computer games, to obtain endless virtual money, lives, ammunition and similar resources, hacking. All versions are supported, up to the latest 8.07.1. Clickerman program is a tool for automated execution of various commands and user actions in the Windows operating system and allows, once writing a script, script with extension, CMS, plain text file, then repeatedly use it to avoid repetition of routine actions. All versions are supported, up to the latest 4.13.014. DISM++ is designed as a graphical interface for the built-in Windows DISM system utility.x, which allows you to perform various actions related to the backup and restore of the system. All versions are supported, up to the latest 10.1.1000.100. 
Duplicate File Detective is a program used to find duplicate files in the system using content analysis technology. All versions are supported, up to the latest June 2, 1958. Google Chrome is a browser developed by Google based on the free Chromium browser and the Blink Engine. WebKit was used until April 2013. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 50.0.2661.102. CMonkey a free set of programs to work on the internet. CMonkey includes a web browser, email client, address book, chatzilla IRC client, HTML editor, and web developer tools, DOM inspector and JavaScript debugger. All versions are supported, up to the latest 2.49.5. Solvang Video Splitter is an editor for MPEG-2, AVI, WMV, ASF, MP4, MKV, MOV, AVCT, MP3, WMA files. All versions are supported, up to the latest 7.3.1906.10. TeamViewer is a software package for remote control of computers, file sharing between management and managed machines, video communication and web conferencing. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 14.2.8352. Telegram is a cross-platform messenger that allows you to exchange messages and media files of many formats. All versions are supported, up to the latest January 8, 2015. Tor Browser is the official portable build from the Tor project, incorporated, combining Tor with Firefox ESR, including no script, Tor button, and HTTPS Everywhere add-ons. New versions of the program will not work. The latest working version is 7.5.6. Total Commander is a closed source file manager that runs on Microsoft Windows and Android platforms. All versions are supported, up to the latest 9.22a. TurboTop is a lightweight and efficient utility that gives you the ability to make any visible window so that it stays always on top without being closed by other open windows. All versions are supported, up to the latest 2.8. Ultra ISO A program for Windows, the main function of which is to create, edit and convert various formats of CD and DVD images. All versions are supported, up to the latest 9.7.2.3561. Ami Video Downloader is a great tool to download to your computer absolutely any video from the most popular media portal YouTube. All versions are supported, up to the latest 1.10.7.0. The highest possible video card on Vista is Force 1080T. This video card is even now more than enough for many games. The maximum possible driver is 372.70. But according to user reviews the best performance is shown by version 365.19. To enable DX11 support, simply install the KB971512 update. Almost all modern popular games have DirectX11 support. These are games like Apex Legends, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, Metro Exodus, Resident Evil 2, Far Cry New Dawn, Need for Speed Heat. It is not necessary to collect all system updates yourself. If you search well, you can find ready-made images of Vista version 6.0.6003.20686 on the internet. Thus, the Windows Vista operating system is still safe and functional. And if your equipment has drivers for this system, then it is quite possible to use it. Write in the comment your opinion about Vista, do you use it now?